Hey guys, and welcome back. And here's Slagface Lara again. Uh, I probably could have used the medipack before she landed, and yeah, she probably wouldn't have died. But, oh well, what's done is done. Let's just collect this little butt plug device again. These devices that were ridden in high security compound. Well, there was like what, two of them or something, I can't really remember. It's not relevant. Do you know what? I'm actually trying to remember where this even goes. Maybe up Lara's ass, maybe. If she decides not to behave again. Technically, that was my fault. I shouldn't always blame Lara for everything. Yes, I should. Ah, <sighs> oh well. I'm gonna dive over the laser. Don't go into the other laser, though, please. I don't want to get shot by the gun turret. But yeah, that little fall I had earlier on just reminds me that. I really need to save it, and I have enough save crystals to do that. I've been super conservative with them when playing through the rest of this. Now, I know I, I did mention that I played this level quite recently, but to be honest, I've always been somewhat a little bit unfamiliar with Area 51, mostly just because it confuses the hell out of me. And I can't really say it's a level that I play too often for that very reason. Same goes for high security compound, I guess. But I'm definitely more confident with high security compound than I am this level. Even though I prefer this level. It's more interesting, that's for sure. And you'll see why. You'll see why, trust me. You will. What the hell was that noise? I don't trust this. Wait on! How's it going? You wanna fight? Well, considering I have guns and you have a baton, then yeah, you didn't stand a chance, I'm sorry. Well, not really, but you know. I like to be polite, I'm British. Okay, now we've got some sort of, um, it's kind of like a little, not a railroad, but like train tracks basically for, I guess, transportation of weaponry, goods, what have you. Um, and on this little track there is a little small train that I'll need to call in order to, in order to progress with the level and in order to do so I need to go up here and just simply press a switch but yeah I think I'm going to save it very shortly actually because I have a habit of just not jumping just you know forgetting to press the square button and falling onto the tracks and when that happens yeah Lara gets it electrocuted she becomes crispy There you go, you can see the little train over there, which I have called. Um, and in order to get on top of that, I'll have to be very, very careful. But yeah, oh, as I was saying earlier, I just wanted to say again thanks to all you guys have viewed and subscribed. I'm really, really happy that I've reached 200, and you know, I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. and. This will get more frequent now that my exams are done and summer is finally, finally here. And I'm also happy because the next level that I'll be doing, um, which I'll, is be Coastal Village, I'll be going to the South Pacific. It's my favourite level in the fucking game. Oh, that was kind of close. Favourite level in the game, so I'm really looking forward to that. In fact, that whole section is my favourite section. I do not want to slide down because I'll end up getting electrocuted, so for that reason, Let's use a safe crystal. And up above, of course, we come up to a corridor with a red laser. Oh god, I forgot these platforms open. <gasps> Shit, that was close. Yeah, the platforms below, the, the grates, they open, as you can hear already. And I have to be careful not to get hit by that laser. In fact, just to be in the safe. No, fuck, Lara, get backwards. No. I'm fucked. I am... Shit, maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Or not. <laughs> that was really silly. I probably would have had time to turn around. But I just kind of stood there and let it... Well, 
actually I hung there and let it happen. I just froze. I don't know. Let's try this again. Alright, here we go again. Attempt number two. Boom, 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 boom. That heartbeat again. It's making me feel anxious. Okay, now don't go too far forward, you slag face. Let's wait. Look how close this comes. Ah, go. Ah, yes, made it. That wasn't too bad. That was actually pretty alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the f... Yeah, I need to be careful. Really careful, in fact. In fact, can I just hang down with that? Yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to get electrocuted. So I should be very careful. I'm going to do a run and jump just to be on the safe side. Uh, oh fuck, what the hell? Why is the music so scary? It's only a guy. Why do you have to play such scary music? At this part. <laughs> I have to admit, Tomb Raider 3 has some scary ass music. Haha. <laughs> You try to run away, bitch, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh, you're dead now. Oh, they're about to see something quite interesting. Something, I guess, that very much relates to Area 51 and the whole popular culture around Area 51. Um, men I mentioned earlier what Area 51 is, but what it is suspected to be is a home for the testing of experimental aircraft including UFOs and the home, not the home of aliens as such, but the place of experimentation on alien life form. I'm kind of sceptical about that though, there's no solid proof of course. But this is what makes Area 51 such a popular subject. So yeah, we can see the green lasers and you can see the turret put two and two together, you know what will happen. So I do not want to trigger those. That's the last thing I want to do. I don't feel like being ridden with holes. So far so good. Is there any lasers in front of me? I don't think so. I bet I'm going to run into one. And all of a sudden I'm going to get shot to shit. Shot to shit. Shit to shot. Nope. It's all good. I think. Please be all good. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, Christ. This next bit kind of pisses me off a little. It's basically a room that has two buttons and two doors, and they're timed. And also it's full of guards, and there's a turret in there as well, and yeah, it's just a recipe for disaster, and also a recipe for using copious amounts of medipack that I would rather not use. And for that reason, I'm going to see how many Desert Eagle I am. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I think I can spare some. I hope. Ha! Hey yourself, bitch. So just... The best thing to do is just to not shoot the turret. Otherwise, it'll just shoot back at me. Constantly. Alrighty, so as I mentioned before, there are two buttons in here. There's one over there, and there's one over there too. And what will happen is each time you press the button, it will open those doors, which are timed, as I said. However, also, simultaneously, a guard will be alerted to your presence, and yeah. You just need to be careful about that and just dispose of him as quick as possible, which I'm going to try and do with my pistols. Here we go. It's time to rock and roll, bitch. No, do not even shoot that. Do not even... No, Lara. Can you want... Them? Screw you. Can you die already? Thanks for taking away, like, pretty much all my health, you dick. I'm going to have to do the timed doors anyway again, because of these stupid guards, it's best that I just push the buttons and dispose of the guards and then once I've disposed of them I'll just go and push the buttons again and open the door.
but you know what? Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't playing. Oh. Haha. <laughs> 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 I ain't playing around. Because the door's closed. Yep, they're closed. And once again, I'm going to use the midi pack. I'm going to have to start rationing these very soon. So let's do this again. And this time, obviously, I can be quicker about it because there's no guards to alert, thankfully. That noise kind of scares me. I don't know why. It's the sound of the trap door lifting that just kind of makes me paranoid. But luckily enough, there is enough time, so... I'm not too worried about messing this up. Unless for some odd reason I just haplessly shit the turret. But there's no reason to do that. Come on, Lara, make it, bitch. Ow! My ankle. And here is where we wanted to get to. There's the corridor from the first half and the trap door that opened. Oh my god, is there someone in here? Oh my fucking god, where the hell did that come from? Uh -huh, I don't like this. Oh my god. Christ on a cracker. Fuck you. Stop trying to shoot me twice. Okay, I believe at this part. What has to be done is this lever. This lever. And this little lever right here. Has to be pulled in order to open the doors to the, <gasps> the scary UFO. For some reason, the X Files theme tune has come into my head. I'm just going to check and see if there's anything else in this room. I don't think there is, but you know me, I miss everything. Well, I don't miss everything, but there probably are a lot of things that I've missed. For one, I think the placement of the shotgun in this level is absolutely fucking ridiculous. No, I'm okay for health. It's very, very easily, easily missed. If I do say so. No, you can't say so. Why don't you just shut up and ask pain? I just drop it. Just like it. I have no idea what happened there. I don't know what happened. That never happened before. Right, okay. So there's the scary UFO. Not so scary, I guess, but. This is what they're hiding in Area 51. They're hiding a damn UFO. And what items do I have so far? Okay, cool. So, yeah, basically, what I have to do now is get on top of the UFO itself, and that can be a little bit tricky to do. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is save it beforehand because in the past there's been many times that I've died doing this. I'm pretty sure I have. Jump back and don't fall please. Some music from Tomb Raider 2. Oh wait there's some shot shum. <laughs> I've done that before. Some shotgun shells. Yes I'm a little bit tired. It's like quarter to three in the morning but I'm only a t look, as you can see, there's like a, one of those big giant ass cards on top of the UFO. Why? Why? What? Why is it on top of the UFO? Did someone just like go, oh, I'm just gonna hide this card. Where can I fucking hide it? And just like throw it up in the UFO. Maybe it's like a pissed off employee or something. I don't know. How the? How do I get over there again? Oh man, I've totally forgotten how I get. Right, okay, hold on. Save that right now. Because I predict a death. I predict I'm going to die. And it ain't going to be pretty. I can't just simply fall on the UFO right now because I'll just die. Okay, I wonder if Lara can make this. Come on, bitch. Oh, yeah. Don't slide off, though. Oh, she didn't slide off. Awesome. Okay, right. Okay, so things are going well so far. <clears throat> and now what we have to do is just be very careful and 
jump down, probably take off a little bit of health, maybe not. No, that's good, that's good, very good. And now I can safely drop down on top of the UFO <laughs> and grab that card. Oh, we don't slide off or anything, that would be really rubbish. No, that's cool. Yay, I have the card. It's all good so far, all good. Now I can just slide off. Whee! A dark room. Hmm. Nope. That's the wrong part. Sorry, my bad. That's actually where CD goes. This is the launch code pass that I have. And you can probably guess what this is used for. Launch code. Do you remember the big giant ass missile that was in that room earlier on? Yeah. I had to go back there and... <laughs> oh, this next bit's pretty funny, I've got to admit. Please don't trigger the turret. Please don't trigger the turret. Yeah, I don't know really to say what's about to happen next, but for some reason to progress the level Lara has to launch a missile. Christ knows where that missile goes. I really don't know where that missile goes. I just hope it doesn't hit any subway stores or anything because, you know, I feel like a sandwich later. You can hit Burger King if you want. I don't care about Burger King. Burger King tastes awful. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have to go back this way. But I just have to crawl underneath first of all. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Shotgun shells. Mine. Um, actually, I don't think I can go back this way. Can I? Or is it going to be like... It's totally blocked off, isn't it? Damn you. I have to go back the way I came. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was hoping there was going to be a quick, easy way to do this, but... Nah, it looks like I have to go back the dangerous way I came. Larry, you better jump over this bitch. Thank you. Okay, here we are again. This is not where I want to be right now. Don't run too far ahead, Lara. Uh, I'm going to wait for that laser to come back, and as soon as it goes away, I'll jump upwards and go, bitch. Just fucking go, 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 go. Okay, everything's cool. It's all cool. I'm okay. Is it safe to drop down yet? It better be. Yay! Woohoo! And I'm just going to be careful where I step because I don't want to... Please don't slide down. Phew. I was kind of worried just going to slide down the front of that train and yeah... Good things will not come of that if that were to happen. Whee! So, yeah, I'm pretty much just going back the way I came. I have to go back to that missile room and just launch the damn thing. Which is pretty funny, actually. I don't know why. Pretty much the only reason for launching that missile is, believe it or not, just... Oh. She would survive that, actually. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Whee! She didn't even take any damage. Yeah, pretty much the, re the only reason for doing that is so you can progress upwards on a ladder. That is otherwise blocked if the missile is there. So this is why Lara insists on launching a missile into god knows where and wherever it hits. <laughs> I hope she writes a letter of apology, at least. Nah, that's not Lara's style, is it? Ah, oh, epic music, which I've interrupted. You can tell something big's about to happen. This is my favourite part of this level, I would say, just because it's so what the fuck. Like, seriously, Lara, really, do you have to do this just to, so you can climb up a damn ladder? So, we can guess what's about to happen. There's a missile in the next room, and... Yeah, once I press this button, I'm going to save it, actually. 
Once I press this button, it's going to launch, and I have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> but what if I don't feel like it? What would happen? Oh my god. Oh my god, is it safe? Oh no. <laughs> I love doing that to Lara. I gotta admit, as a kid, I always did that to her. Well, every now and then, if I was pissed off with her. I'm not even that pissed off with her, to be honest, but I just wanted to show you guys what happens if you don't run the fuck away from that missile. That's what happens. Now that you've seen that, let's continue with the level in a hopefully more proper fashion.